What is up you guys? Welcome back to another Destiny video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys um, the different factions and how you join a faction. What are the benefits to join that faction? So to get over to our first faction, you're going to have to be over here and just run over this way. Now you can look at your little ghost thing here um, and it should say... Uh, so the tower, the uh, to the tower of the north, that is where one vendor is, um, or faction leader is, uh, and then the other one is to the ha in the uh, hangar. So let's go over to the hangar first. I'm actually only gonna check out the vendor or the faction leader in the hangar, uh, but the other one is over uh, to the north tower. So uh, yeah, just head over there if you guys want to check out the other one. Now each vendor actually has um, different perks to them. Like I'm, I keep saying vendor, each faction has different perks to it. So the uh, faction I'm checking out is going to increase, or I should rather decrease, uh, the cooldown time of my special and of my grenade. So yeah. All right, let's approach him actually. So he is, uh, his name is Arik Jalal, um, and he is the faction leader for Dead Orbit. So you can at um, approach him, and now to join his faction, you are going to have to equip um, one of these uh, one of these class things so for me it's that little armband thing for a titan that's gonna be the little uh, cape thing on his waist and the hunter is gonna be the cape on his back like legit cape <laughs> um, but yeah guys this is what they look like I'm actually gonna buy one so this one is called death of fate our fate is not sealed with proper will and enough force it can be rewritten uh, it's very cool um, the other one is uh, willful Exodus, till even the stars heed our calling. Now, these ones both look pretty cool. Uh, mm, I'm not really sure which one to go for. I kind of, I think I like, I'm going to go with this one. Um, so it says, reputation gains applied to dead orbit when equipped. Uh, reputation gains to, or gains applied to dead orbit when equipped. So they both do that. Now they're both pretty much the same. They just say different stuff under them, which is kind of cool. But I'm going to go with this one. Um, I just, I like the saying more. <laughs> so we're going to go with that one. Um, so death of fate. Now we have this in our inventory now. Let's go equip that. All right. Now it should, there it is. It look looking pretty cool looking pretty swag um, so that is it guys now I guess my understanding is that you can um, you can uh, receive uh, missions from dead orbit now so um, the, let's just I'm gonna read you guys the description so dead orbit uh, only grudgingly maintains a presence in the tower to arm and outfit their champions in the crucible very cool um, so that is it guys now I guess after you get this, then you once you start doing missions for them, you guys will get, start getting a reputation for um, the Dead Orbit or whatever faction you decide to join. So this one, it says, um, Reputation details crucible marks used to purchase legendary weapons and armor in the tower, which are these things. Um, and uh, Dead Orbit reputation earned by completing bounties with a Dead Orbit cloak, mark, or bond equipped. So... Anytime I guess you you uh, do a bounty, you get a um, and you have the dead orbit thing equipped. Then you do missions for that dead orbit, and then I guess you move up in your dead orbit rank, or for that matter, whatever faction you are a part of. So that's how it works, guys. Um, basically, once you hit level 20, buy one of these bad boys, and then just keep doing your missions like normal, and then you can get this super cool legendary gear. Thank you guys so much for watching. And